The United States is confident tonight that the Ukrainian airplane that crashed Wednesday morning was shot down by an Iranian missile the same night Iran hit U.S. military bases. The tragedy is not the first time one Fayetteville woman has worried about her family overseas, as she explains to News Channel 9's Adrian Smith. Lita Buniak finds herself praying for peace and for her country quite often. I don't know. All I, 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 I do spend a lot of time praying and hoping that it'll get better. An added weight when she saw the headlines of the Ukrainian airline crash. And it just felt very surreal to hear that this happened. Uh, it, was, it sort of was uh, reminiscent of the feelings we had uh, back in 2014 when the MH17 flight went down. Um, over eastern Ukraine. Buniak was born and raised here in the United States, but she still has family and friends in Ukraine, including her mom. It's sort of like you go into like a into a crisis mode because you want to understand what's happening. You want to be able to somehow wrap your head around it and and figure out why. And she joins many asking that same question, but Buniak still hopeful for Ukraine. For me, I I have to keep I'm praying to hope that uh, we can all still come together as um, human beings and see the good in each other. Standing firm on her faith in Syracuse, Adrian Smith, News Channel 9. Adrian, thank you. And there will be a Ukrainian memorial service Saturday morning at 9.30 at St. John the Baptist Ukrainian Church in Syracuse.